Evening, we begin with those terrifying moments in San Carlos, and it all played out in broad daylight on a typically quiet street. Yet deputies say that a woman was beheaded in front of her home as neighbors watched in horror. Tonight, we're learning more about the suspect and a possible murder for this really unimaginable crime. Here's NBC Barry Stephanie Magallon. Everything happened in the middle of this road a little before noon today after authorities say a fight broke out between the victim and the suspect inside one of these apartment units. A woman beheaded in broad daylight and in plain view, leaving the San Carlos neighborhood in disbelief and two children without a mother. It was kind of a shock, you know, and this is a nice neighborhood, so it was a shock. Chappelle tells us he knew both the victim and the suspect and says they moved into this neighborhood near Magnolia and Laurel Street about three years ago. They seemed like they loved each other. Investigators have identified the suspect as Jose Landaeta Solano. They tell us he has an extensive and violent criminal past and a history of mental illness. He was arrested near the scene with the help of witnesses. When our deputies responded to the scene and started to uh, uh, process the scene, uh, it's my understanding that he was contacted in the area. Uh, in the surrounding area, but he was not at the immediate scene. He was then taken to the hospital for what police are saying was some kind of medical emergency. As for the victim, she has not been identified, but we're told she had two children, a seven-year-old and a one-year-old. Police also say she had a restraining order against Solano. Tonight, investigators are still looking for the weapon, described by some as a samurai sword. Uh, we're still in the process of securing warrants for those locations. Police also tell us there is a history of domestic violence calls and other complaints tied to this home, a home that now sits empty in a neighborhood that's been shaken to its core. 